subscribe to DV Studio channel and press the bell icon to get the latest videos first. Hello there, this is Dipanshu and welcome to Photoshop Tutorial Series Part 1. In this tutorial, we will learn some basic tool in Photoshop. Let's start with the new file. Go to File, New. You can set here the resolution in which you want to work. Uh, let's just set it to 1280 by 720 pixels. Uh, 300 resolution. Okay. That's it. Okay. This gives us this white workspace with the white background layer named background and which is locked. Uh, you can just click on this lock, lock icon then click it, it will unlock this layer. When a layer is locked, you cannot work on this layer. You, you, uh, you have to make a new layer if you want to work. Okay. Now if you want to work on this layer okay then click on this lock button lock icon and click it it will unlock this layer and now you can you can draw anything you want on this particular layer on this white background okay we will leave this unlock by pressing ctrl z lock it okay let's start with the new uh, basic tools on the left column of your tools you can see there is a option of these tools rectangle round rectangle ellipse polygon line tool and custom shape tools let's start with the rectangle tool let's draw a rectangle okay now you can see on the right side of your screen there is a pa layer panel in layer panel you can see it will automatically create a new layer named rake rectangle one every time you create a, a basic shape like rectangle circle a basic custom shape it will create automatically a new layer now if uh, you can see on the upper row of this tool you can see here the shape then fill fill you you can choose any color you want to fill the rectangle here I select this or uh, this color okay you have a option of not giving a uh, not giving any color like no color click on this no color button it will empty this rectangle right let's just click on this solid color it will fill the rectangle with the solid color which we have selected okay now the next option is the strokes strokes is the edge of this rectangle uh, like uh, if i want to make uh, this edge of this rectangle more thicker then increase this point it will increase the thickness of this edge now if i want to change the color of this of this edge then click on the stroke box and click on this then click on the solid color and choose the color you want okay click it you can change the line type of this edge also by on the right side of this point of this stroke you can change the line type click it okay you can change these properties by this property dialog box open automatically when you are when whenever you draw draw a shape like if i click this arrow it will hide these properties okay now if i want to undo the particular uh, thing if i uh, want to undo then we just uh, press ctrl z it will undo the last thing and we uh, if we press the ctrl z again it will redo the thing last we have uh, changed in the shape right if i press again the ctrl z 
it will go in the one step backward now if i want a further more step backward in undo command then you have to press the control alt z by pressing control alt z you can undo to the more backward steps right if i press control z control z it will give us the shape from which we have start the undo command okay the next step is the move tool on the left column of your tool you can see the uppermost tool is the move tool by click it and select the layer of this shape tool or select this layer of this shape then click and drag you can move the shape whenever ever you want if i select the background layer then uh, then uh, click and drag it will not move anything because the background layer is locked and if we want to make a change uh, in the location of this shape we have to select the layer of this shape first then select the layer then move it now if i draw another shape like ellipse draw this ellipse and with no strokes and fill it with another color okay then escape okay now uh, i want this rectangle uh, or uh, this rectangle on this ellipse so first we have to select the rectangle layer there is a uh, there is another way of selecting the layer of the particular shape then by pressing uh, then by selecting the move tool click on the shape then you can select the layer of this particular shape rectangle one okay select it then move it okay you can see here when i'm moving this rectangle or uh, on this uh, ellipse you can see this is in the backward position now i want this rectangle on the uppermost on the upper of this ellipse so for this we have to change the order of the layers of the shape so if i if i want to uh, want this rectangle on this ellipse then we have to arrange the rectangle layer on the upper of the ellipse layer you can see the rectangle is now on the ellipse if i move this rectangle then it will always on the upper of this ellipse shape and if i move this ellipse by selecting the ellipse layer it will always remain under the under this rectangle so the layer arrangement is the important part in photoshop if i want this ellipse on this rectangle again then we have to arrange the layer or take the layer ellipse on this rectangle layer okay now you can see the ellipse is on the rectangle now the next step is let's just say we want to make this ellipse more smaller if we want to make the uh, size of the any shape then by pressing control t on the keyboard it will show this rectangle and these corners by selecting these corner by click and drag you can change size of the particular shape now this this changes the size in the unproportioned manner if you want the size of the shape and change the size of this shape it will go it must go in the proportion so we have to press the shift key when pressing shift it will resize the shape in the proportion manner 
it will retain the proportion all the time when pressing shift when resizing a shape and release then hit enter now again if i press ctrl t again you can see when take the mouse on the corner of this rectangle you can see the this uh, this sign indicate the rotation of this if i click and drag it the mouse it will rotate the shape or you can see there is a box showing the angle as you rotate the shape okay now there is another thing if i rotate the shape now i'm pressing the shift key it will rotate it in the defined angles when done hit enter and then again press control t if i'm changing the size and finally i don't want the size uh, 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 or the rotation changed then i want the re i want to restore the size and the uh, rotation of this shape like uh, this and change the rotation and i want to restore the size and the orientation of this shape then instead of pressing enter press escape key it will restore the size and the orientation both simultaneously then again if i want to change the size on an orientation of this rectangle we have to first select the rect layer of this rectangle then right click on this select the layer okay now press control t and you can change the size and orientation whatever you want and hit enter the next we use is the eraser tool now select the eraser tool on the left column of your tools then select the rectangle layer then click in this and hit okay then you can see on the upper row of this tool you can change the uh, type of this eraser the size of this eraser okay then click and drag and finally release it you can see there is a lot more option like opacity flow you, if i decrease the opacity if i erase this now it will not erase completely because of the opacity if i increase the opacity to 100% then erase it it will erase completely remove the shape completely now when i'm erasing this rectangle shape you can see uh, the eraser tool will not erase the ellipse because the layer of this ellipse shape tool is not selected if i select the ellipse shape layer then click on this then okay now it will erase this ellipse shape now by pressing con alt control z you can undo to several times to retain the original shapes the next is the text tool the by pressing t on the keyboard it will select the text tool or you can select it manually by on the column right left column of your tool the t icon is the text tool okay if i click on this it will automatically create a new layer of text uh, like if i text something okay now by pressing control a it will select the all text you can see there is a color box then select it you can change the color of the text here
change it and then ok now you can see there is a little more properties here like the text type the size of the text and when finished then click on this right check icon then click it now if I want to move it then select the move tool then move it if I want to edit this text again if I want to uh, enter it or add some text here then by pressing the text by selecting the text tool by pressing the T ok then click on this text it will enter this layer automatically and you can add some text in this ok and when done, for today we will click continue on this in the next icon. photoshop tutorial and series hope you enjoy this video you can subscribe to this channel and press bell icon to get the latest videos first